It's said that a car skidded and crashed into a snowplow, getting cleanly sliced in two. Miraculously, the couple inside walked away without a scratch. The Mythbusters set out to test this story. They got their hands on a real snowplow, equipped with sharp front blades shaped like a scorpion's tail, and mounted it to a heavy-duty truck for support. The setup was designed to split a car like an axe. They built a 300-meter track, launching the car with steel cables powered by a 600-horsepower electric motor. Since the engine is typically the toughest part of a car, Tori modified one with a rear-mounted engine. They would test both standard and rear-engine models. Kerry marked the car's center line, securing it to the sled system. To simulate human survival, they used an inflatable dummy of Tori, which would deflate if it suffered any damage. Once everything was ready, they launched the car at 56 miles per hour into the snowplow. The car didn't split in two, the bumper was severed, but the inflatable dummy tore and deflated, beyond even Tori's ability to revive it. Then they tested the rear engine car. To increase the chances of a clean slice, Grant sharpened the blades even more. They also boosted the speed to 68 miles per hour. Upon impact, the front end nearly split, but the rear-mounted engine held strong. Even so, the inflatable dummy didn't survive. Confirmed. A snowplow cannot cleanly slice a car in half.